All right, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at this McFarlane DC Multiverse 2 pack Batman Earth 32 and Green Lantern. Hal Jordan Green Lantern. Because apparently a 2 pack is the only way we can get a Hal Jordan Green Lantern. But I digress. Look, I'm sure the Batman from Earth 32 is fine. Just wasn't a figure I was really interested in, but I did want a Hal Jordan Green Lantern. So I broke down and I bought the 2 pack. So. I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure when we take him out of the package and look at him, he'll be just fine. But let's look at the package here real quick. Uh, basic stuff here for a two-pack. Nothing unusual. On the side there, Batman, Earth-32, Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. On the back, as always, the big disappointment. Why? Like, there's not enough comic book art out there. You could put some actual nice comic book art on the back. Why are you just literally showing us on the back what's right here? And in almost the exact same position for the figures. I don't know, guys. Why? Just put some comic book art on the back. Whatever. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the UPC for those that are interested. There it is. All right. Let's crack this guy open and uh, let's see what's inside. All right, guys. Quick break in here uh, just because I had to show you guys something here. Uh, didn't notice this till I was opening up the package here, but of course we have our two stands there, and do you notice anything missing in the package? Like, I don't know, a couple of cards? I mean, these are sealed. It's plastic sealed, it hasn't been opened up. They just failed to put the cards in. Look, I don't really care about the cards, but like, if you're gonna bother to put the plastic mold there to hold the cards, maybe make sure the cards are actually in there? I don't know. Might be nice. Anyway, all right, let's get back to the review. All right, so we got the guys out of the box, but first let's take a look at the accessories here. First off, obviously, we have this stand here, this uh, green glowing see-through stand. I'm not going to use this, but, uh, you know, it's just not how I display my figures on things like this. But uh, if you do, I mean, this is a nice little bonus to get with the figures. Uh, and then, of course, for Hal Jordan... Uh, we've got a jetpack, and we've got a fisted boxing glove effect here. And then for Batman Earth 32, we have some, uh, you know, Green Lantern, I don't know, demon bats or something. That, I don't know what they do. It looks like they're supposed to stand, but they don't. <laughs> so, I don't know what you do with that. But anyway, those are the accessories you get, minus, of course, the two cards that didn't come in mind and the two stands which I don't count as accessories. So, let's look at the figures themselves. We'll start with Hal Jordan here. Now, there's not a lot to say about this. This is complete reuse except for the head of the John Stewart Green Lantern, which is a little lazy in my opinion, um, but it is what it is. So you've got all the same standard articulation as you would have with the John Stewart figure as far as the double jointed elbows, the double jointed knees, um, you do have the uh, newer style ankle articulation, which is nice, which is why these guys can stand up without needing a stand. Um, the paint itself uh, is okay. Um, honestly, it's not great. Uh, he is slightly different than Jon Stewart is in that this area here and all this part here is black on Jon Stewart's. And then, of course, he has green gloves instead of white gloves. Other than that, the paint is the same and identical. The sculpt is okay. I mean, it's got some decent sculpting on it, but again, this is the exact same as Jon Stewart, so nothing really to write home about. Uh, mine does have some black mark right there. Don't know what that's from. And then also I have a problem with the molding here. If you can see that there, the mold is messed up right here. And there's this bump slash kind of little gash in his chest piece. So the mold was obviously screwed up on this one. And, uh, yeah. So, I, I gotta be honest, I'm not that impressed with this Hal Jordan figure. Uh, it's just mostly reuse and uh, sloppy paint with a bad mold. Um, the face sculpt looks really good, except, just like on the Hal Jordan Parallax, where is the gray in his hair? I don't understand this. Okay, this is the second Hal Jordan figure they've done this with. Hal Jordan has always had gray streaks on the side of his head. Why can McFarlane not put some white paint on there and uh, improve this figure? I don't know. 
So all in all, I got to say, I'm really not impressed with this Hal Jordan. Um, honestly, uh, John Stewart was a better use of this body sculpt than this Hal Jordan was. It's okay, you know, now that he doesn't want to stand up after I just said that his ankle joints were good. Um, it's okay. And maybe if this had come out first, I would appreciate it more, but it didn't. And, you know, with the lack of gray hair, the spot of paint, the molding issues with the figure, it's fine, I guess, but uh, certainly nothing that I would rush out to get if I were you. Now, the Batman from Earth-32 has actually uh, a nice mold to it, original mold, from what I, I, from what I can tell, I don't think this is reused from anything. I mean, maybe it is, but if it is, I'm not sure. Uh, the sculpting is done really, really well. I like the sculpting on the bat lantern symbol there, the sculpting on the belt, the, 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 the cables going around the arms, or excuse me, around the waist, um, the sculpting all along this, this piece here that goes around his shoulders looks great. The, uh, the, the cables running up to his head all around here. This sculpted detail all in there looks really good. Uh, I do have some paint issue here just in the fact that this green here on the top portion of the torso is slightly darker than this green. But all in all, not too bad. We got decent paint apps here with the silver accents under there. The sculpt on the, uh, the arms and the wrists is good. Looks good. Got nice texturing here and back here and here. Uh, the boots look good. Okay, we got the uh, these these knee pad things which are sculpted well. I do have a little bit of like white stuff here. I don't know if that's paint or what. I think I can probably scrape that off. But uh, also newer uh, ball joint articulation for the for the ankles, so that's good. So he does stand up between the two of these. Uh, even though I bought this for Hal Jordan, the Batman Earth 32 is the better sculpted and painted figure. Um, Again, both have standard articulation. I'm not going to go into all the articulation. It's it's standard McFarlane stuff, um, and both are equally as good. But, uh, yeah, between these two figures, just as they sit, taking out the fact that I actually care about Hal Jordan as a character, but not this Batman Earth-32. Taking that away, the Batman Earth-32 is the better of the two figures in just about every way at this point. So... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw up some comparisons, and we'll see how these guys stack up. Alright, so first up, let's obviously compare this to Jon Stewart, since the Hal Jordan and the Jon Stewart are identical, except for some paint apps and the heads, and obviously they stack up well together. It's the same body, and they both work really well with the Batman Earth-32. Eh, not much of a surprise there. Uh, honestly, the Jon Stewart paint apps are much crisper, much better. Uh, also, the joints, I noticed, when I had both these figures in hand, the joints on the Jon Stewart figure are much tighter and work better. Uh, the ones on Hal Jordan, especially his shoulders, are definitely a little more loose. So just in general, the figure, I don't think, was really slapped together very well. It seemed like maybe a very hurried job. So, yeah, stacks up well together. But uh, in this case, I gotta say, Jon Stewart is probably the better figure, even though they're basically identical. Alright, so now we're gonna look at Parallax between these two, and I think he looks really, really good. In fact, looking at Parallax here makes the Hal Jordan Green Lantern look even worse, because the paint apps and the sculpt on this Parallax figure are phenomenal, and this Hal Jordan Green Lantern figure just pales in comparison outside of the head sculpt. The head sculpt on the Hal Jordan, I think, is considerably better than Parallax's, even without the gray hair, simply because the hair color is right, the face looks better, and in fact, I think a head swap between these two would make that the perfect Parallax figure. Well, we have one Batman figure there, so why not put another one there? And yeah, we got Batman 32 versus Detective Comics 1000 Batman from McFarlane, and uh, yeah, looks good, stacks up well. I think these work well together, would look good on a shelf. And now for a quick comparison between these two and the Hasbro Marvel Legends retro-carded Captain America from a few years ago. And here we have the Mezco X-Force Wolverine. And I actually think this guy works really well between these two because he's supposed to be short. He's supposed to be 5'2". And this actually works pretty well. 
All right, now we have another comparison with another figure that I'm just not that excited about, and that's this SH Figure Arts Batman Ninja. If you watch that review, I had a couple of issues with it, namely the cape. Not a great figure, but does give you a good sense of scale between it and McFarlane DC Multiverse. And lastly here, just because I just love this figure, this is the 1995 McFarlane Toys Wetworks Vampire. This is a great figure. This figure is better than either of these two, and this figure is 27 years old, if that tells you anything. All right, so the only thing left to talk about here is the price. Now, this thing retails for $39.99, so 20 bucks a figure. Now, is it worth that? In my opinion, honestly, nope. It's not. Now, that being said, I got this thing on Amazon for $29.99, 15 bucks a figure. Is it worth that? Maybe. I don't know. Look, I gotta tell you, I'm really disappointed with this Hal Jordan figure. This is not a great example of quality control, period, across the board. I mean, I could deal with it being the same sculpt as Jon Stewart, if the execution would have been there and honestly it's just not the Batman 32 figure honestly is a way better figure I mean there doesn't appear to be really any major QC issues with it and it's got a nice new original well done sculpt and the paint apps are pretty much on point so you know I'll leave that up to you it's still selling for $29.99 on Amazon with free shipping and if it's worth 15 bucks a piece to you then sure go for it is it to me? Well, at the moment, I'm feeling kind of down about it, so we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, 15 bucks still isn't that bad. All in all, look, if you like Green Lantern and you like Hal Jordan and you don't want Parallax as your only Hal Jordan, this is really the only option when it comes to DC Multiverse stuff right now. And it's not a horrible figure. If it had been done properly, it would be a pretty solid figure. So. Yeah, I mean, I think it's worth picking up if you're a fan of Green Lantern. And honestly, surprised as I am, I actually do kind of like this Batman Earth-32 Lantern figure. I mean, you know, I don't really care about the character, but the figure is executed very well. And in the end, I am glad that I have it. So all in all, it's been a hit or miss this time around. A little disappointment on one hand and a nice surprise on the other Take that for what you will. Either way, I'll find a way to enjoy this in my collection, and if you pick it up, I hope you enjoy it in yours.